एवरीवन मैं सेल पद्मजा एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सी एस सी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एरोनेटिकल इंजीनियरिंग हैदराबाद ना टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सेट कंप्रहेंशन इन पाइथन नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज सेट कंप्रहेंशन सेट कंप्रहेंशन प्रोवाइड्स एन इजी वे टू क्रिएट सेट्स नाउ टू क्रिएट दी सेट कंप्रहेंशन यूजिंग सेट कंप्रहेंशन इफ यू वांट टू क्रिएट अ सेट देन यू नीड टू फॉलो द सिंटैक्स सो हियर इफ एस इज अ सेट New set you are going to create, then you have to write the syntax like this expression for variable in sequence followed by you can write any if condition or any for loop inside it. So this part is optional, but at least you have to follow the format expression for variable in sequence you have to write. Now how to use set comprehension technique and how to create the sets in easier way? Let us see some examples. For example, I want to create a set containing the square of all numbers from one to ten. So I have to write like this. Suppose S is the new set I am going to create. So you need to write like this: x to the power of two, because square of each number you have to find it out. This is the expression: x to the power of two for x in range of one comma eleven. That means here the start value is one, and the stop value is eleven. so here it will start every x value will will range in the 1 to 10 when x value becomes 11 this is going to stop so for every x value first time x value is equal to 1 it is going to find out its square then second time x value is equal to 2 it is going to find out 2 square then 3 square then 4 square and so on so the square of the numbers which is stored in this newly created set you can see over here so you can see that this is the square of the numbers from 1 to 10 but set is an unordered collection of items that's why you can find that the square of the numbers from 1 to 10 is not in an ordered form so every time you run it you will get a different order that is the nature of the set so next we will go for another example where you want to delete all numbers between 20 and 50 for example i want to create generate a set a uh, set of square of all numbers from 1 to 10 and the values which are between 20 and 50 in this range if the squares are available then those squares i'm going to delete it so first of all you have seen that how to create the square of all numbers from 1 to 10 using set comprehension so you can create a set s1 is equal to x to the power of 2 is the expression for x in range of 1 comma 11 so starting from x value is equal to 1 it is going to find out the square of 1 square then 2 square then 3 square so up to 10 it is going to find out because the start value is equal to 1 and stop value is equal to 11 so after finding the square of the numbers from 1 to 10 it is going to store in the set called s1 now by using that particular set we we want to generate another set and we want to delete the numbers which are between 20 and 50 so how to do that again using set comprehension now here the logic is here we are writing an if condition n for n in s1 so for every value of s1 for every value of the set s1 for every value of the set s1 if the value if the number n is greater than 20 and it is less than equal to 50 then it is Greater than twenty and less than fifty, then it is going to store in the set. Other values it is going to delete. So with this process, you have written here a set comprehension with an if condition here. If else condition is written along with the set comprehension method here. Okay. So you can write this condition. You know that along with your comprehension, you can write if else conditions. You can write another. loop also so here the if and uh, if condition says that if n is greater than 20 and n is less than 50 then if this condition is satisfied then that number is going to be there in the set so so the remaining will be deleted from the set so here you can see we are printing the set s1 and s2 s1 contains the square of all the numbers from 1 to 10 1 to 10 it contains the squares and after deletion the only remaining numbers 49 36 and 25 are left in the set okay so this is the second example of set comprehension now let us go for a third example convert the set of strings to lower case using set comprehension now 
let us take a set of strings in a set. So, we have defined a set. This is set of strings. Now, we have to read the strings one by one and we, we need to convert into lowercase. So, you can see here, here in all these strings, the starting letter is capital. So, we want to entirely convert the strings into lowercase. So, the lowercase tags, how will you find out? So, use the built-in method lower. This is the built-in method. So, here for every tag value which is present in the set, we have we are converting that into lowercase by using the built-in method lower. So, tag that lower for tag in tags. That means for every value in the set tags, it is converted into lower and it is storing it is storing into another set called lowercase tags. And when you print it, you can see the output as numpy, django, and pandas are in lowercase. So these strings, the strings which were there in the set are now converted into lowercase. Now, let us go for another example. Now, let us take let us take a list which contains a repeated number of elements and we want to filter it out only the unique elements and we want to prepare a set from it. So, you can see that the input is a list. So, in this list, many numbers are there which are repeated. Okay. Now, only we have to filter out the unique elements which are less than 20, for example. So, we need to check one extra condition that we need only the unique elements. So, set is always a collection of unique elements which are less than 20. So, let us see how to write. So, create a set called unique 20 and for element, for each element in the list, if the element is less than 20, this is the condition we have written. If the element is less than 20 and then keep it in the set. So, it is reading every element from the list and checking that that element is less than 20 or not and then it is storing into the set. So, set always contains unique, uh, unique set, set properties, uniqueness properties, the holes in the set. So, the repeated elements will not be stored. So, can you see that? If you will print the unique 20, that is the new set. So, you can see that the number 0 to 18 appears in the final set and no repeated elements are there in this set. So, this is another way of creating a set comprehension for this application. Now, how to write multiple conditions within set comprehension? Let us see the conditions how to write while in set comprehension. Now, for example, let us take this example. We have a string. It is a string. So, in this string, first what we are doing? First, we are trying to find out the words. So, how to find out the words? We are first converting the string into lowercase using the built in method lower. We are converting the string into lowercase and then we are replacing this dot with commas. We are replacing the dot with commas and the commas with your, your space we are replacing after splitting. So, here what is your intention? Intention is to, is to string must be converted into lowercase and then each word is separated out. So, you will get the words. So, you can see the output of the first line that so after getting all the words, we want to store it into a set. So, the third one unique words, how to get it? Some of the words may be repeated. So, if you will store it into a set, automatically the duplicate elements are eliminated. So, unique words is equal to word for word in words. That means for every word in the words, it will store into a set. So, you can see the output over here. Only the unique words which is present in the sentence are stored into the set. Now, after getting the unique words, you can write some conditionals and you can check. For example, I want to write some conditional like find the words whose length is less than or equal to 3. So, this is the conditional I want to apply to my existing set. Existing set is a collection of unique words which has been derived from the sentence. Now, find the words or prepare a set of words whose length is less than or equal to 3. So, how to write it? So, unique words is equal to, this is a new set will be created. So, for every word in words, if length of the word is less than or equal to 3, this is the condition written. If length of the word is less than or equal to 3, then that particular word will be kept in the set. So, you can see in the next output, the second output, where only the words 
whose length is 3 or less than equal to 3 is only present in the set. Now, similarly, we can write another condition here. Capitalize the words which begins with the character H. So, only the words whose starting character is H, we have to capitalize into capital H. So, let us check the words whose starting character is H. So, we can prepare a set using the capitalize method. So, word dot capitalize, that means words capitalize method will capitalize the words if word of 0, if the starting character, the 0th character or 0th index character is equal to H, then only it will capitalize, else the remaining words are same. Else, word, the words will be kept as it is in the set. So, let us check in the output, in this output, can you see over here, the word hat and had, had and had, whose starting character was small letter or lower case, it was now converted into capital letter, remaining all the words are same. Now, similarly, we can combine both the conditionals and we can write multiple conditionals in the set comprehension also. For example, if you want to combine both the conditions here, like capitalize the words which begins with H and length should be less than equal to 3. If you will combine both the conditions, then you can find that word dot capitalize. If word of 0, 0th zero character is H, then capitalize it. Else, keep the words as it is if length is less than equal to 3. So, here you can see here both the conditions are combined and in the output you can see that you are getting only words which are whose length is less than equal to 3 and the, the words which starts with H are capitalized. The first letter is capitalized. So, this is the output of multiple, this is the output and where you can write multiple conditionals in set comprehension. Now, similarly, you can see another example where you want to find out the list of unique words which is present in a sentence. If you want to find out, then how to use set comprehension. So, take a list of strings over here. So, here sentences is nothing but a list containing multiple sentences over here or multiple strings over here. Now, from this, we want to find out only the unique words which are present in these sentences. So, if you will observe these three sentences, you will find that most of the words are repeated words in all the three strings. Now, we have to find out only the unique words from this. So, how to do it? So, you can see here, word for sentence in sentences, that means you take the sentences from the list of sentences and you for each word in the sentence, you first split it, okay. If you will, from the sentence, the inner for loop will work first. Take one one sentence and first split it into words. So, here, Betty is a word, water is a word, bot is a word. It will be split like this, okay. After splitting into words, each word, okay, will be present in the, if it is there in the sentences, if not repeated, then only it is stored into the set because that is the uniqueness property of set it stores. So, here you can see here loop within loop, for loop within for loop is written in the set comprehension. So, this is the way you can find out finally the unique words which are present in the set. So, thank you and this is all about set comprehension. Thank you so much. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.